gentlemen, come on, Rashad! Hello! Hello, everybody! Today, welcome to Stephen Jones. It is hump day, meaning that if we get over today, we slide right into the weekend. And speaking of sliding right into the weekend, here's my weekend partner. This is Dan Doherty. Dan, what's happening, man? Sliding over here. How you doing? <laughs> I've been busy, 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 busy. You know, some, when most people, when people say they're busy, I take that as being just busy. But you, danger always uh, seems to be busy. busy. What have you been doing? Thinking. <laughs> I got to say, I'm dangerous. New Year's resolutions. I'm putting some new ones Dan, down. Dan, 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 a little, a little late for the New Year's resolutions. Yeah, that was actually on the top of my list. Uh, stop procrastinating. <laughs> You realize you do you do those things before the New Year's, right? Is that how it works? Steve, let's meet our challenges, please. Today we have three new contestants. First from Las Vegas, he's a retired Air Force officer who loves to play duplicate bridge. This is Jan Jansen. From Las Vegas, she's a student at UNLV and wants to be a media lawyer. This is Ann Larimer. California. He's an MIS manager who enjoys traveling. This is Daryl Gartner. Hello, everybody. Welcome and good luck to all of you. You're playing today for over $10,000 in prizes, including a fashionable new wardrobe, elegant living room furniture, beautiful emerald and diamond jewelry, and today's top prize, an exciting cruise to the Bahamas aboard the very big red boat. And whoever wins the most dollars by the end of our game will have a chance to face Caesar's Challenge and the chance to drive home in this sporty Chevy Camaro. <laughs> and all of this happens by answering questions and scrambling words. Here's our first word. Now, whoever buzzes in first with the correct answer to a question in round one will earn $100. You'll choose one letter, we'll move it to its correct position, and then you'll have five seconds to guess the word or the name. If you're correct, the remaining letters will each pay off at $100 for a maximum of $700. Now, if you find the letter that belongs in our lucky slot and then identify the word, our answer jackpot, which starts out each day at $500, will be added to your winnings. That was before New Year's, I write those, right? Before New Year's, yeah, before New Year's. So what you can do is write them now, and then next year, around, just before New Year's, then you do them. Before, though. Before, always before. Never <laughs> after. Of course, you could do them after. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Okay, our contestants have the word. Now let's show the subject to our home viewers only. Smokey the Bear, Woods the Owl, or Barney the Dinosaur. Who's the spokes animal for the U.S. Forest Service? Yes, Chan. Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear is correct. Only you can prevent forest fires. Let's pick a letter. The O. The O. Here's the lucky spot. If you guess the word in five seconds, you pick up an additional $500. Mascot. Is it mascot? It is mascot. Oh, and the topic was famous animals. And, Jan, you go off to an early lead with $1,200. Here's our second word. Letters are still worth $100 each, and our lucky slot is once again worth $500. Here's the subject for our home viewing audience. Red, blue, or black? What color are most sapphires? Yes, Jan. Blue. Blue is correct. Pick a letter. The U. The U. Five seconds. Nuggets. You know, there are some days that I really hope that you get the answer right because there was three words here that I can't read. And I don't have to read them now because you just won the thing. The topic was rocks and you now have $1,900. Steve, please tell us about the cruise and the emerald ring. Okay, I'm on. Sail from Port Canaveral, Florida, on the Big Red Boat's exciting family cruise vacation. Sailing to the exciting new destination, Port Lucaya and Nassau in the Bahamas, furnished by the Big Red Boat. And a gorgeous cocktail ring, 14 karat gold with seven genuine round emeralds and 18 round full-cut fine quality diamonds, 0.47 karat total weight, furnished by Michael C. Fina Company. All right, let us in our next round pay off at $200 each, and we'll be back to play more of Caesar's Challenge right after these messages. Daryl, you are from Anaheim, California, originally? 
No, not Arizona. But now you live there. Three years now. Three years, and you are an MIS manager? What does that mean? I handle all the data processing chores for the company I work for, which is everything anything to do with computers. Really? So MIS is kind of computer language? It's management information services. Management. I speak it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, at $200 a letter in round two, here's our next word. <laughs> It is now an eight-letter word, and our lucky slide is worth $1,000. Here's the subject for all of you playing along at home. The liver, the kidney, or the pancreas. Which organ produces bile and blood protein? Yes. The liver. Anne. The liver? Yes. Correct. Could I see you have the A? Yes, you may. You get the lucky slide, and if you get the word, you pick up an additional $1,000. Your arm, your leg, or your back. Where will you find your quadricep muscles? Yes, Daryl? Your leg. Your leg is correct. Pick a letter. Um, G. The G. Five seconds. Megaton. Arteries, capillaries, or veins. Which type of blood vessels carry blood only away from the heart? Yes, Ann? Veins. Veins is wrong. Capillaries. Yes, Daryl. Capilla capillaries is also wrong. Arteries. Arteries is right. Yes, Jan. Pick a letter. The L. The L, please. Five seconds. Ligament. Is it ligament? It is ligament. And the topic was anatomy. And Jan, you have a lead. You have $3,100. And Ann and Daryl both have $200. Here's our next word. And the lucky slot is now worth $1,500. Here's the subject for our home viewing audience. Staten, Coney, or Manhattan. Which of these islands is not completely surrounded by water? Yes, Ann. Manhattan. No. Yes, Daryl. Coney. Coney is correct. <laughs> right. So then why do they call it Coney Island? That's another show. Pick a letter. <laughs> You. The you. <laughs> if you can guess the word in five seconds, you pick up an additional fifteen hundred dollars. The Met, City Hall, or the New York Public Library. Outside of what building rest two large stone lions? Yes, Ann. The museum? No, it's not the Metropolitan Museum. The library. Uh, the library is correct. The New York Public Library. Pick a letter. The G. The G. Five seconds. Queens, the Bronx, or Brooklyn? Where was home to Archie Bunker? Yes, Daryl? Brooklyn. Brooklyn is wrong. That's where Spike Lee lives. And The Bronx? The Bronx is wrong also. That's where the Yankees play. <laughs> Queens is correct. Correct. Right. That's right. R.G. Bunker lives in Queens. The H. The H. Five seconds. Is it Burroughs? Is it Burroughs? It is Burroughs in the topic, obviously, with New York. And Jim, you have a big lead now at $4,500. Steve, let's hear about two more of the prizes included in today's $10,000 package. In fashion, it's Chinaware by Morsley. For active wear, sweaters, fleece, and knits to keep you in fashion, furnished by China Wear and Lazy Boy. This American Home Collection sofa and love seat featuring a channel stitch pillow back, elegantly flared sleigh arms, and a triple kick fleece skirt furnished by Lazy Boy. In our next round, letters are worth $300 a piece, which means it's anybody's game right here at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Contestants are chosen from right here in our Caesars Palace audience, so we hope to see you sometime very soon right here in Las Vegas. Now, with that exciting Chevy Camaro at stake, here are the scores. Jan has $4,500, Ann and Daryl, Ann has $200, and Daryl has $400. And let me speak with you for a minute, Ann. You sure, are a student at UNLV? Uh-huh, I'm a senior this year. And you want to be a media lawyer, is that an agent? 
Um, no, really, you just regulate what goes on TV and how it's done. Oh, really? So someday you're going to have to answer to me about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, you also play the piano? Yes, I love to play the piano. I've been doing it since I was about five years old. Really? Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you rather be a concert pianist rather than a media lawyer? It's probably easier to be a media lawyer, believe it or not. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All right, well, good luck to you. And Thank Jan, you. you are uh, a retired Air Force officer, right? and you speak Russian. So you're really a spy, right? No, no, no. Nobody just speaks Russian just for fun. Well, it was something they taught me in the Air Force. Aha, uh -huh. uh, now we're getting closer. Yeah, but that was about 20 years ago. It was Cold a lot of fun when Khrushchev was here and being able to... Covert operations and stuff like that? Yeah. All right, this is our nine-letter round. And with each letter value of $300, that's a maximum of $2,700 per word. Here is our next word. Our lucky slot is now worth $2,000. Here's the subject for our home viewing audience. Ellington, Basie, or... Gillespie. Which one was Dizzy? Yes, Jan. Gillespie. Gillespie is correct. Pick a letter. Pick the U. The U. You get the lucky spot. If you guess it, you pick up an additional $2,000. Conductor. Is it Conductor? Oh, and the topic was music. And you have a very large lead. You now have $9,200. Here's our next word. And our lucky slot, seeing that it's just been broken, is now worth $500. Here's the subject for our home viewing audience. A lieutenant general, a brigadier general, or a major general. Which of these generals has the highest rank? Yes, Ann? A major general? A major general is wrong. It's either a brigadier general or a lieutenant general. Yes, Daryl? Brigadier general. Brigadier general is also wrong. A <laughs> lieutenant general? A lieutenant general is right. Yes. Three star. Take a letter, Jan. The C. The C. Five seconds. Jacks, boots, or flat caps? Which is a slang term for marine recruits? Yes, Ann. Flat caps. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, Jan. A boot. Boots, yes, that's correct. As in boot camp. Take a letter. Let me have the uh, P. Five seconds. 5.30, 6.30, or 7. In the Marines, what time do they play Reveille in the morning? Yes, Ann. 5.30. 5.30 is correct. Pick a letter. Could I have the M, please? Yes, you may. You need to let you start if you get the word. Peace time. Is it peace time? It is peace time. There you go. And the topic was the Marines. And our scores are Janice 9,800. Ann has 2,800, and Daryl has 400. Now, here's our next word. Our lucky slot is now worth $500. Here's the uh, subject for our home viewing audience. Agnew, Rockefeller, or Humphrey? Who's the only, who was the only vice president to resign while in office? Yes, sir. Agnew. Agnew, correct. Take a letter. I think the B. An E or a U? According to Dan Quayle, what's the last letter in potato? Yes, Jan. An E. An E is correct, but incorrect. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? I Go know. ahead, you get a bigger letter. I'll take the M. Five seconds. Incumbent. Well, time was, the music had stopped. I think it stopped when you said in, then it was stopped, and then <clears throat> He shot a man, shaved his head, or had an affair with the first lady. What did Vice President Aaron Burr do during his term? Yes, Jan. Shot a man. He shot a man. He killed Alexander Hamilton. I'll take the seat. If you take the seat, all right? Ah, very well 
play. Very nice. Incumbent. Incumbent. Is it incumbent? Yes. See, I just want you to know, see, if we would have gave that to you earlier, you wouldn't have picked up the $500. That's very nice. It's a very generous show here. <laughs> the subject was vice presidents. You now have $13,000. Really? Yes, you do. And you have the lead. Here's our next word. Our lucky slot is once again worth $500. Here is the subject for our home viewing audience. Christmas, children, or... Sh <laughs> that horn means uh, our time is up. You put your hands on your buzzers. We're going to start moving letters one at a time. The lucky slot is now out of play. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the word will win the remaining dollars. But if you're wrong, you're out and we keep going. Everybody ready? Here we go. Is it Augustine? It is Augustine. And the subject was Saint. And we do have a winner. It is Jen with $13,000. You have won the Bahamas Cruise, the MO Jewelry, the new wardrobe, the living room furniture, the sewing machine, and digital tape player is all yours, Jen. Congratulations. And Ann and Daryl, we have enjoyed having you on the show. We have parting gifts and seasons pals who like you and a guest to enjoy dinner at the Incredible Palatium and the headliner show right here in the Circus Mac in the showroom. Right. Now, in just a moment, Jan, uh, Jan is going to have the chance to face Caesar's challenge. But first, Steve is going to tell him about two more of his prizes. For really great value, it's the MyXL231, a mid-range machine that's low in price, high in quality, furnished by New Home Sewing Machine Company. And enjoy fine digital sound without tape hiss or distortion with Panasonic's portable digital compact cassette player for DCC or regular analog cassettes, furnished by Panasonic. And coming up next, Caesar's Challenge. we've been waiting for Jan is now going to face Caesar's challenge at stake is this beautiful sporty Chevy Chevy what I say Chevy he's on TV now isn't he it's a Chevy Camaro that Steve Day will tell us all about the Chevy Camaro a sequential Ford fuel injected V6 integrated rear spoiler ABS and a sensible price to make it one sports car you can easily own furnished by Chevrolet all right, Jan, behind these curtains are five scrambled words. We're going to start revealing the correct letter placement one at a time. As soon as you know a word, you will shout it out, and we'll move on to the next. You'll have 30 seconds to unscramble all five words. You feeling confident? We just gave a car away oh, yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. We want to give one away again today. I'll take it. Okay, well, all you have to do is win it. Dan, reveal the tournament. All right, Jan, your 30 seconds begins right now. Kevin. Circle. Certificate is selected from service merchandise. Choose from their catalog or redeem at any one of their over many stores nationwide furnished by service merchandise. The name KitchenAid stands alone for power, function, and durability. So when you're looking for the best, it's furnished by KitchenAid. Logic's Color Reserve System, the professional solution for keeping hair color vibrant and healthy looking only in salons. And new Crystal Fresh Lavoris, the only mouthwash made from 100% natural mountain spring water. So it's naturally fresh. We have a bucket full of silver dollars and Caesar's Palace gold-covered uh, chocolate medallions. We're going to start putting some five-letter words up on the slot machine. If you know the word, you get a foot full of coins, and you have five seconds to guess this one. Dwell? Is it dwell? It is dwell! Those are yours! Get yourself some of those. You want to play? Come on. 
You have five seconds. Oh, oh a line. Oh, a little bit late. Come on, you can play, man. All right, here we go. You have five goose. seconds. Is it goose? It is goose. You want to play? Come on, here we go. All right, five seconds, hand. Is it hand? No, that's his hand. It's handy. Come on. Ego, is that, uh, you have uh, five seconds. What is it? Crow Crouch. 